So I've created the world's greatest web part. I want everybody to use it. How do I do that? Today we're going to look at four different things. First of all, we're going to add an icon to our web part and brand it for everyone to see. Next, we're going to build and package our web part for production. We're going to distribute our package within our tenancy so everybody can use our web part. And finally, we'll have a brief look at the Microsoft App Source to see how we can distribute our web part to the world. If you haven't done already, Please support the channel by clicking the subscribe button and the notification icon. Let's dive straight in. So I've created an out of the box web part using Yeoman. When I go to run it, I can test it in my local workbench. However, as you see, when I go to add it, it's just got a simple page icon. This is because we haven't told it to use any other icon. To find the icon it uses, look into the source for the web part and look at the manifest.json file. Here you'll see the web part is using Office Fabric icon font name is set to page. So the first thing we can do is change the icon to an Office Fabric one. In my browser, I'm pointing at the Fluent UI, the new name for Office Fabric, where it's got all the different icons we could use. Well, I quite like the look of this aeroplane one, and I can see it's called airplane. There's lots and lots to choose from. Okay, so I'm going to go into here and I'm going to change that to Airplane. And then I'm going to save that and I'm going to restart my project. The other alternative we have is we could use a URL to an image or indeed we could use our own Base64 image. So instead of using the Office Fabric icon name, I could simply replace this with Icon Image URL and I could put a URL to an image in there. However, the other thing we could do is take one of our own images and base64 encode it. So here I've got a sample image that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the base64 encoder and I'm simply going to drag my image up there and it will convert it for me. Now when I show the code, Notice that it's got this big long string that I can use. So I'm going to copy to clipboard. I'm going to go back to my image URL and I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to save. I'm going to restart my server so it takes the changes. So now it's using my custom image, which I base64 encoded. The next thing we need to do is package our solution. To do this, we need to go into config and look at package solution.json. Here, we need to give our web part a sensible name. So I'm going to call this Rob's default web part. And this will be the name that appears when we add it at any time. Notice the version number, very important indeed. We increment this every time we want to deploy a new version. I've set include client side assets to true, meaning that the assets accompany this web part wherever it goes and they're not saved separately to like a content distribution network or CDN. I skip feature deployment, meaning that when I deploy this to the tenancy, it's available to all sites. So if I wanted to distribute this via app source, I'd need to fill in all of these details, a little bit more about that later. So once I've filled in all the details for this, given it a proper name, and I'm also going to change the name here to Rob's default web part for the package name, then I can come down here and I can simply type gulp bundle dash dash ship. When that's successful, I'm going to do gulp package solution dash dash ship, which will create our package. And you'll see in the left hand side, under SharePoint, it's created our package for us. We need to go to our admin page. We need to go to the SharePoint Admin Center. We then need to click on More Features. We then need to click on Apps. We then need to click on App Catalog. If your organization doesn't have one, then one will be created at this point. Then we need to click into Distribute Apps for SharePoint. And we need to click 
upload and now we're going to choose our package file we click open and we click OK I'm going to say yes I want to make this available to all sites in the organization so my web part was called test example now when I add it you'll see it's appeared with the icon in there to distribute our web part with Microsoft App Source we first have to sign up as a Microsoft partner. Once signed in, make sure that we've created web pages for privacy and terms of use, as we'll need to link to these when building our web part. Once we've done that, we'll upload to AppSource and complete all the details. And if Microsoft say OK, then it's available to the whole world. I hope you found this information useful, not only in this episode, but in all the ones leading up to it. I'll put all the links in the description below. Don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification icon. Join us soon for more SharePoint fun. I'll see you next time. Haircut, sir. That'll do.